तो हेलो वेलकम आज हम देखेंगे कि कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क एंड इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल का वीक इलेवन असाइनमेंट नंबर इलेवन सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ द ए आर पी क्या स्टेबल इन नेटवर्किंग डिवाइस ओके तो पर्पस क्या है uh, जो नेटवर्किंग डिवाइस होता है तो उसमें जो क्या स्टेबल होता है कहाँ पे ए में एड्रेस रिजोल्यूशन प्रोटोकॉल सो so, इसका पर्पस यही होगा कि ऑप्शन नंबर सी दैट इज टू स्टोर रिसेंटली रिजॉल्व मैपिंग ऑफ आईपी एड्रेस टू मैक एड्रेस ओके सो रिजॉल्व आईपी टू मैक आईपी टू मैक दैट इज एयर ऑप्शन नंबर सी सो एक्सप्लेनेशन इसका यही हो जाएगा कि द पर्पस ऑफ द एयर पी दैट इज एड्रेस रेजोल्यूशन प्रोटोकॉल क्या स्टेबल इन दी नेटवर्क डिवाइस इज टू स्टोर रिसेंटली रिजॉल्व mapping of ip addresses to mac addresses so this helps the device efficiently communicate within the local network by quickly looking up the mac address associated with a given ip address without needing to send an arp request every time so is answer you will get option number c that is to store recently resolved ip to mapping of ip to mac address so okay so go to option number c देखो ए आर पी क्या था आई पी टू मैक सो रिवर्स ए आर पी क्या होगा मैपिंग ऑफ मैक टू आई पी ऑप्शन नंबर ए तो एक्सप्लेनेशन इसका ही हो जाएगा कि आर ए आर पी यूज टू मैक Mac address to an IP address. So RARP is indeed okay to use to map Mac address to IP address. So it allows a computer to determine its IP addresses when it knows only its Mac addresses. Mac means Mac address, nothing but the physical address. Okay, with MAC means with the access control is nothing but called what physical address. Okay, so its answer will be option number A. इसको याद रखो ए आर पी मीन्स ए आर पी मीन्स क्या है आई पी टू मैक आर ए आर पी मैक टू आई पी इसको याद रखो ओके तो इसका आंसर हो जाएगा ऑप्शन नंबर ए ओके तो का ए सो क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड विच प्रोटोकॉल इज यूज टू फॉर लूप अवॉइडेंस इन ए लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क एनवायरमेंट ओके सो इसका आंसर हो जाएगा एस टी पी दैट इज पैनिंग ट्री प्रोटोकॉल ऑप्शन नंबर सी सो इसका एक्सप्लेनेशन यही हो जाएगा That is spanning tree protocol. Okay, so HTTP is used for loop avoidance in LAN local network network environment. It prevents looping in Ethernet network by allowing switches to create a loop-free logical topology. Okay, so this answer will be option number C. Three. HTTP that is spanning tree protocol. This will be loop avoidance in LAN and ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ट्रैपिंग फ्रॉम मल्टीपुल Over the same physical link while keeping the VLAN logically separated. So this enables efficient utilization of network resources by segregating different types of traffic, such as separating data traffic from voice or management traffic among other use cases. So this answer you will get. Key option number B for that that is to separate traffic from different VLANs. On the same physical link, okay. So this answer will be the option number B. Okay. Yes. Question number five. What is the mandatory access method supported by all implementations of IEEE 802.11 WLAN? Okay. So this answer will be the option number A. That is to mandatory access method supported by all implementations of IEEE 802.11. 
wireless LAN is DCF, that is distributed coordination functions. So it's can through is again option number A. Okay. Keep three option for mandatory PCF. Okay. Our push here ki optional access to PCF. Hoga. Okay. Mandatory hoga DCF. Our push that ki optional access. Yaha pe optional access method. So is can through with PCF. Okay. So abhi mandatory push hai. So is can through with that is. DCF, okay, mandatory access, DCF, option number A, yes. Question number six, which frame type is periodically sent by a base station in a PCF based WLAN? So, this can answer you, Jaga. The option number C, that is beacon frame in a PCF, means point coordination function based WLAN. The base station sends periodic beacon frames to indicate the presence of the network and to synchronize the timing for the connected stations okay so be confirm so six the option number c six the c that is be confirm yes. which i triple standard specifies the media access control that is msc and physical okay layer specifications for wns scan through is option number c that is i triple a zero two point one one. Seven okay. C हो जाएगा. तो the IEEE standard that specifies the media access control that is MSC and the physical layer specification for double layer is straightforward question. That is option number C. IEEE A zero two point one one. Okay. IEEE A zero two point one one. That is option number C. Yes. Question number eight. In an IEEE 802.11 WLAN, what problems does the hidden terminal problems report? Okay. So, hidden terminal problem kya hai ki the two senders are not in the communication range of each other. Okay. So, it's, it's the answer is option number B. So, kis liye hoga? It's explanation A hai ki this problem occurs when two or more stations within the range of one access point are unable to detect each other transmissions due to obstacles or distance. So as a result of which collisions may occur when these stations transmit simultaneously okay, at a time, leading to network performance degradation. Okay. So easily it can show jayga, option B that is two centers are not in the communication range for each other. Okay. Collision occurs. So that is okay. So option B. Breeze can operate on which of the following two layers actually uh, is cancer is option number a that is physical and data link layer physical bridge operates physical and the data link layer okay option number a option number a so please is cancer is option number a that is bridge operates the both the physical layer that is layer one and the data link layer that is layer two of the osi model so they function to connect two or more networks, okay, two or more network segments and forward traffic based on MAC addresses. Making decisions at the data link layer, which also dealing with physical layer considerations such as signal regeneration and collision detection. Signal regeneration and collision detection. So these operates physical and data link layer. That is option number A. Okay. Option number A. Question number 10. A switch has been configured okay, of three different VLANs, VLAN 2, VLAN 3, and VLAN 4. A router has been added to provide communication between the VLANs. What type of interface is necessary on the router if only one connection is to be made between the router and the switch? So, is the answer you will say. For communication between the VLANs, the router interface connected to the switch needs to support Ethernet connectivity. Okay. Since modern networks typically operates at higher speeds, so a 100 Mbps Ethernet interface. So you need to trunk the link from the switch to router to make this connection work with inter VLAN communication. So, so it's high speed internet, so it's the answer is C option that is. 100 Mbps Ethernet. 
दिला देते हैं एक बार क्वेश्चन नंबर वन का सी क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ए क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड सी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर बी क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्थ ए क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स सी क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन सी क्वेश्चन नंबर एट बी क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन ए क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन सी ओके सो थैंक यू फॉर टेकिंग विथ इलेवन असाइनमेंट नंबर इलेवन योर आंसर्स आर सक्सेसफुली सबमिटेड सो थैंक यू